We just came back from vets. And the vet didn't do anything to them. She just looked at them and then gave us their uh, medication uh, to apply ourselves. I mean, they just get uh, some pills and some stuff to apply to the back of their neck. So we're going to do that tonight. So all that happened was we transported them to the vet and we transported them back. But they were both, uh, well, Aggie especially. No, no, Ellie freaked out. She was like, in the carrier when, she, when we were at the vets, she was like, whoa, panicking. I have no idea why. And apparently their heartbeats were quite. <laughs> you had fast heartbeat. Yes, you did. Why did their sister have fast heartbeat, huh? Come on, visit. Come on, visit. So. Oh, big purr right now. I said, they purr so quickly. She says, they're not purring for me. <laughs> she says, I rarely get a purr. Yes, so that's done. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then we're going to be going back. She only charged us for half a cat's visit. Ah, they only count together as half a cat. Because we're coming back shortly to get your booster shots. Yeah, booster shots. Booster shots. Yes. And I don't know where Ellie's going off to. This is Aggie. She showed up. Ellie's probably under the bedroom bed. And you're untying my shoelaces again. I've gotten back to work already. It's, um... Just placing things in Quark Express, boom, boom, boom. I don't like the way Quark Express is working there. And I was trying to adjust it. No, shoelaces are not for eating, please. Um, and it's not cooperating. No, not cooperating. I wanted to do something. And it used to do something, and it doesn't do something that way anymore. And I don't like the way it doesn't. And I tried to change it. He's not letting me change it. It's my shoe. It's my ankle. That's my shoelace. He says, you took me to the vet. I'm going to chew your shoelaces. Chew your shoelaces. Shoelaces. Don't get freaky. You're getting freaky. Freaky. Yes, yeah, so um, I decided to take a break and make a video. Ah, it's my hand. It's Floyd. Watch out for Floyd. Her tail is a very twitchy tail. You can pounce on it. She's stalking Floyd. Floyd's going, oh God. Kitten stalking. Oh, is there sunshine? Oh, I want there to be sunshine. It's just really bright. And there was sun this morning. I want to go outside and read. A little. You know, I can sit here and import files, pictures into files all night long, but in the daytime, I like to sit out and read. I think it's bright enough to sit out and read. It's, it's, it's always bright enough to sit out and read. Warm enough, though. I think it's warm enough. Yes. That's all. I have nothing more to say, I don't think. It's Thursday. If go to the veterinary thir veterinarian Thursday. No, doesn't doesn't work. Veterinarian. Vep. Go to the vet th Thursday. <laughs> Lloyd's going. What are you talking about? You've seen that look. Yes. That's the Floyd look. Ah, uh, dealing with veterinarians is always interesting. They're always characters. 
this one is. And you just go, yes, 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 and then you do whatever you want. <laughs> she understands our thing about, you know, only giving the cats the first round of shots and not giving them more. That's all we've ever done. We didn't actually say that, but she actually brought it up. And I sort of went, yeah. So she knows, she knows we do that. The thing is, you know, you bring in cats that are young and might not have, uh, might have been exposed to something and then, yeah. I used to be more careful with my new arrivals. I used to um, put them into cage until they had their shots and were absolutely safe. This time I didn't do it. Well, actually they, they had been given, had been cleared of feline leukemia, so that was okay. So that's probably, but you know, ah, they're okay. They're healthy. Fleeless, all good. Because if you can sit on my lap for a whole week and my, I don't have any flea bites, that means you have no fleas. That's one thing. Clear to feline leukemia. But they have roundworms, so we're giving them another deworming thing. Because uh, my daughter got hers checked and they have roundworms. Vets also like to make money, so they, you know, try and push everything. We just resist pushing, being pushed. Don't push me around. Okay, what time is it? It is four o'clock. Four o'clock. Well, I'm going to try reading. I'll see if it's warm enough. Four o'clock. Yes. So, you've heard the vet's update. That's it. That's it for Thursday.